Let's learn all about color correction and how we can use it to make our videos more vibrant. For this lesson, we're going to be using footage from stock media. I went ahead and downloaded something. You can also get the same videos by typing in the keywords. Just look for strawberry in the stock media tab and uh, you can get the exact same video. We also got this video that we're going to use. So you can search for mountain, sunrise or sky to get this. And these are all from Pixabay on the video section. So let's go ahead and take a look at our footage. I'm going to drag this strawberry video onto my timeline. We got some colors already, but it could definitely be better than what it is now. And that's where color correction comes in. In our second video, which was this one, and depending on whether you're using S-Log in your camera or you're just shooting it with your phone, you can use color correction to make your videos look more appealing and have them be brighter than what they are. Right here we got some desaturated colors that I need to fix in order to get a nice and fresh landscape. Just select your video and head over to this guy. It's called the Advanced Color Tuning. If you click it once, you get an option for color correction. Hit color correction and you're brought into this new panel. So over here, I have some presets that I can use. Let's go ahead and try 007 series. These are popular color gradings and they're named that way too. If I play this back, you can see that it has a similar color uh, grading as the movies. We also have things like Harry Potter You can see how it looks more sci-fi and gloomy, just like the movie, Mission Impossible, House of Cards, and so much more. If you're not sure what color grading will look good on your clip, you can just do a few clicks. You can also categorize your presets by going up here. Right now we're on all presets, but you can go to, let's say, Winier. And we only get the things that are affecting the corners. Some are making them brighter. The corners are brighter and some are making them darker. We have film. So film is used for film. So you get that grainy look, just like you get in vintage movies. So that's for film. Then you can go to common, which is just basic presets like cold, warm, color boost, shadow detail, and all that. And then we have 3D LUT. These are the presets for popular TV shows and movies that we saw earlier. So you can also go ahead and download more from the internet and then load them up here. And then we have favorites, which are the ones that you liked. So let's go over here. I'm going to right click on, let's say Polaroid, add it to favorite. So when I go to favorite, this guy is here and I can use it. Let's remove it from favorite, right click again. And now let's go ahead and learn how to create our own presets from the color corrections that we add to our clips. Head over to adjust. Over here, we just have our preview panel. You can skip through your video if you'd like. You can have a look at a before and after. Right now, let's add something random. I'm gonna do this. If I hit this A and B, I'm seeing the before. Uh, you gotta choose a window first. So this is after, this is before. This is great to see your progress. There are different options as well. Side by side view, top and bottom, before, after. You can also use this guy. Let's disable comparison. Use this eyeball to see a before and after. Click on it. You have the undo buttons up here. You can also reset everything you've done, which we will do right now. Click it once and I'm back to zero on everything. So the first thing you see here is this graph right here. This is called a histogram, which shows you the tonal distribution. So the different values in your image, you can see we got green, red, purple, magenta, blue, and all that. And this tells you uh, how your tones or your different values are distributed in your video. Anything that's close to here means that it is darkened. Anything that's here means that it has lightened. So if I bring my shadows all the way to the right, these guys are going to shift to the right. And this is a great thing to look at when you're editing to make sure that your video is not overly bright or overly dark. So let's take a look at color enhancement. If you're not sure what you want to do, you can always use color enhancement, which is an auto feature that will automatically color correct your video. You can hit auto, 
right here. And you can see if I turn off the eyeball, this was before, this is after. It did some stuff by its own. This may not always be perfect, but you can always work with the value. Maybe bring it all the way up, somewhere in the middle. Then we have the threshold, which really intensifies the darks and the lights in your color. If I go to 100, you can see how intense and crisp everything looks. So if we want to keep it somewhere low and keep it natural. So I'm not going to be using color enhancement, but again, if you weren't sure where to start and how to uh, color correct your video, you can either look at the presets up here or ask Filmora to automatically enhance the colors. I'm going to hit reset. Over here, I can switch it off and just go without this effect, switch it back on to get it back. I'm going to close this now, and then we have something called white balance. Now the white balance, as you can see, affects the temperature of your video. Got warm and cold. Go warm. It's almost as if it's a sunset. If you go to cold, it looks like it's a chilly uh, winter morning. We also have similar things for tint, so you can go toward the greener side or the purple side. Maybe you shot a video in your room and the light source that you had, which was a light bulb, was yellow. So you end up making your face and your clothes all yellow. You will come here to adjust the temperature of your clip and switch it from yellow. Let's say this is my clip. I can use the temperature and the white balance to make it neutral. So somewhere around here. Similarly for tint, if something is way too green, I can just kind of make it uh, balance it out by adding more purple because these two colors are the opposite. So this was before. You can see it's a little bit green. If I bring it slightly to the magenta side, I have made it more natural looking. I'm going to turn it a bit warm and add some magenta to my video so it looks more neutral. So that's with white balance before after. Let's move on to 3D LUT, which is the same that we saw here, which I will not be using because I'm trying to show you guys how to make your own. Then we have color. As the name says, this is about the colors in your video. This is the most important one. We got exposure, which is the overall brightness or darkness of your video. This is just exposure alone. Let me turn off white balance and the other ones. So we look at each slider separately. Then we have brightness, which looks to brighten up the bright parts. Exposure adds light to everything. So you can see bright, dark. But brightness, let's reset it, brightness just goes from the brightest part. So you can see how these parts weren't as bright as these guys got. Similarly, if you go to the end, it's going to be really dark, but we can still see what's happening here. That wasn't the case with exposure. Everything goes dark at the same rate, but this only targets the brightest parts, which is here. We have contrast, which is what separates the brights and the darks. If I go to the left, I'm flattening out my video, which is used in vintage films. But if I go all the way to the right, I'm separating things and making the edges of the video more visible. The edges of the things in the video, that is. So the leaves are a lot more defined. But if I go over here, you can see how it's not as defined. Vibrance is when you bring out colors from things that aren't that colorful. So this would include maybe for mountains, sand, and things that just don't have that much color. If I go all the way to the right, I am increasing the vibrancy in those objects. You can see how that only targeted the things in the back and these areas. If I go all the way to the left, I'm removing the color from those areas. But saturation targets anything that has color. So if I go all the way to the right, you can see how everything is just kind of neon looking now. If I go to the left, I'm making my video about black and white. I'm going to add a little bit of exposure, a little bit of contrast, add some vibrancy, and a little bit of saturation. So with just color alone, this was the before, this is after. All right, let me turn this off so we can look at light. Light only targets the light. We have highlights, which are the 
bright parts and it doesn't matter what color they are anything that's bright is going to be moved by the slider dark light and uh, we have the opposite which is shadows so anything that's dark and it doesn't matter what color it is so bright dark we have a lot of shadows in this video as you can see so you can use it to adjust the shadows and then we have whites which is the white parts of your video and that would mostly be the part here let's reset that you can see it's white it will also affect the whites on other things so i've got some here some here some there so you would usually end up using both of these to adjust the bright parts of your image then the opposite of whites is blacks so anything dark in your uh, video the darkest parts that are meant to be black will be adjusted will be affected by this slider let's reset that for this video i'm going to darken the shadows a bit add to the highlights darken those blacks and just get a little bit out of those whites so with just the light tab alone this was a before this is an after you can see we turned everything off now let's turn this off as well and take a look at HSL. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. So for all of these colors that you see right here, we have Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. Hue is the location on the color spectrum. So right now we're going to choose red. We've got a red here. If I go to the left, I'm going to turn it purple. If I go to the right, I'm turning it green. So I can change the color completely using Hue. And then we have saturation. Let me choose this green. Saturation uh, is how intense that color is. So I can go all the way to the right to make it really intense or go all the way to the left, which removes all the color from that part or from the reds in the video. We have luminance, which is the brightness of that color, the red. If I go to the right, I'm making it bright. If I go to the left, I'm making it darker. So for this video, let's go ahead and add to the saturation and to the luminance i'm happy with the color i don't want it to be purple or green the red is quite nice let's go ahead and do the same for green we've got lots of it and this is a before and after for hsl alone before after when yay which is what we learned it affects the corners of your video we can add the amount you can see that if you go to the left it's dark go to the right it's bright and i'm going to go to the dark because it's more visible you can adjust the size right now it's at 100 but if i bring it down i'm just uh, leaving a small amount of the video you can go and change that you can change the roundness of this uh, this shape right now it's on zero but if i add to this i will end up getting a circle we can adjust the feathering which is how soft or rough the edges are Right now it's on 50. If I add to this, it will be softer. If I remove it, it will be quite sharp. We then have the exposure, which is the exposure of what's in that video, not here. So I can add to that or remove from the exposure. And highlights also does the same. And I'm not going to be using Winye for this uh, example. We're pretty good on the edges, so I'm just going to turn this off. HSL, light, color, white balance. And there we go you can always go back and switch things up and make it perfect i'm going to do that by adjusting these sliders and then i'll be right back all right so i went ahead and readjusted these sliders to get the final product now let's say i want to keep this settings and i don't want to do it every time for every video I can go ahead and save this as a preset let's call it bright and vibrant hit ok and now this preset is in my custom tab, bright and vibrant. Now let's try that on this video. This time I'm just going to focus on vibrance to show you how that works. So if I turn the saturation on, this is what we're getting to 100. You can see that some areas are not exactly vibrant. And that is because we need to use this tool rather than saturation because we've got colors in here that are quite neutral such as dirt sand and other things maybe mud 
But uh, when it comes to things like this, you definitely want to work with the Vibrance tab first and then the Saturation. Since we learned how to customize our color correction for this second example, I'm just going to use a 3D LUT and just choose something random here. And that is how you can color correct your videos using Wondershare Filmora.